KDMT. That's all you have to do, and Alexa will learn how to find us. You can listen to us through your Amazon Echo, Echo Show, Echo Dot, and Amazon Tap devices. Alexa, what's your favorite radio station? That's easy. Money Talk 1690 AM. For more than 60 years, Colorado energy companies have relied on fracking. 90% of all oil and natural gas wells have been or will be fracked. Colorado is nationally recognized for our stringent state laws and regulations for oil and natural gas development. The need for reliable, affordable energy is always balanced with protecting Colorado and the environment. To see all that we're doing, go to cred.org. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, the most positive business talk show in America. Best selling authors of Lists That Saved My Business and founders of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, are inspiring you to get your business right. They know the customer experience isn't just another thing, it's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello, friends, and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel Tussie, Eric Raymer here, empowering you to build your brand right here on the radio. Very nice to have you, and very nice to have you back in the studio. Oh, well, it's it's good to be back, yeah. although I feel like, haven't, it, yeah, there's, like, haven't we already done this? There's still a little brain I'm, fog I'm a little going foggy. on. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little foggy, mm-hmm. and of course, I apologize. My voice is, uh, hmm. oh, it's, it's, it's the voice of angels, or, or at least one. Well, it's the voice of something. That's for sure. That's for sure. But uh, super excited to be inspiring you to get your business right, empowering you to build your brand on the radio, yep. become a micro influencer using media to grow your business. It's the biggest trend, uh, marketing trend for 2018. Make sure you are poised in position to take advantage of that. Mm-hmm. You can download our free report for how you can get even more media exposure. Set yourself up to become a micro influencer in 2018 by going to our website, massivemediaexposure.com. Massivemediaexposure.com. All right, so you have a blog. Um, well, let's say you have a blog. Okay. Let's say you have a blog, right? <laughs> um, and, and you want that blog to give you results. Results. Right? I mean, that's what we're all looking for is results. In fact, I was listening to a webinar this morning, this afternoon talking about uh you know when we when we have our squeeze page that that he's like don't give information because information means we have to go and read it and do something with it and inherently we are lazy people oh he says give action you know something that gives action that we have to go and do and when we go and do it we'll get results you know i was i was mentioning you just gave away uh our our giveaway page right which mm-hmm. is massivemediaexposure.com and i told people yesterday on on the show i said if you do step number 7 i mean you're going to get a report with seven steps and if you do step number 7 right there you're going to become immediately known uh by thousands th- hundreds of thousands of people looking for content mm-hmm. right and that is immediate results. It's an action step. Well, and they're all action steps yeah. in there. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, this is one of those things that we're all out there getting information. Information's out there. Right. right? All you, it's a Google search. It's a, it's a voice text of, you know, Alexa, answer this question. And the, the information is out there. What we need is results. And that's what we're going to talk about, making sure that your blog brings results. All right, so if you like uh, to, to get a, a result-bringing kind of a blog, um, Angela Del Medico says this. She says, focus on quality over quantity. Now think about this for just a minute. Given the information overloaded society that we're in, understand that your blog's just one small piece of a marketing wheel, right? It's not going to be your blog isn't going to bring tons of dollars into the, uh, into the cycle unless that's all you do, right? So post interesting, relevant, keyword-optimized content geared towards your market and use that content on other channels to increase awareness and backlinks to your site. Repurpose your blog. Repurpose, yeah, reuse it. Everything that you do when it comes to marketing, it's not a one and done. Uh, Steve Bouchard, uh, he says, provide value and the sales will come. He says, I see company blogs that just drone on and on about their own products, visiting them, 
is the equivalent of going to a library and being babbled at by a used car salesman. Wow, Steve, how do you really feel? If you want to start a blog and uh, not have it amount to little more than wasted effort, he says, write about things that matter to your audience, both your customers and prospects. Provide value and the sales will come. We agree with that. Value comes uh, before sales every time. Establish your expertise. That's Tony Banta of uh, Venture Greatly. And this is, again, why we do what we do here at Experience Pros. If you want to establish your expertise, this is the place to do it. You become a nationally syndicated correspondent host with us, and we will help you take care of that. He says there's a ton of objective advice about starting a blog. Yeah, you need to be consistent in your publishing and have lead magnets. Content is king, though. He says if you have the right messages and answer your ideal customer's pain points, you win. If not, You'll hear crickets. Mm. Uh, Todd, oh, goodness. Good luck with that. Mm -hmm. G in a, uh, Todd, Todd G. Todd G. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the got 12 Italian. letters in his it, last name. It's a fine Italian name. Yeah, with, um, I'm sure. And I would, you know, you know I don't want to slaughter it because I don't want them to come Gianna after Tassio. me. Uh, from Tresnik Media. He says, write about your customer's interests not your own. Remember, you're attracting consumers. So it's not about your own personal musings or even selling your product. So often we think that this is our this is our chance to pontificate and to vent and to share. But really, you need to talk about things that they're interested in and things that they're looking for. And so again, it's all on verbal verbal cues these days, verbal demand, verbal search of what people are looking for. And, and if you're looking for where to find what your target market is looking for, check out uh, sources like uh, Quora or Reddit or even Twitter. Find what your your target market is asking and then write a blog to answer that. Answer those questions, yeah. you know, each one in its own separate, separate blog post. He says, customer focused content attracts Customers. Absolutely. All right. And then uh, Brian Driscoll, uh, Think Big Marketing, says, optimize your content to make sure that the right people find it. Make sure your blog content is highly relevant to your audience and optimize your content to make sure that the right people are seeing it. SEO and relevance go hand in hand. While blogging, educate your leads with the answers they wanted when they entered the keywords into Google that brought up your blog. So, again, if you, you're looking at that um uh, I believe it's Google AdWords that allows you to 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 see which keywords are uh, hot in your industry or which keywords are simply being ignored. I know I, I used to call myself an illusionist, and people weren't searching for an illusionist on on the internet. You were number one. I was number one for a very long time. Yeah, that's uh, what else of course, can you, you do? You're the only one looking for him. You know, it's it's good to be the only one. Here's the next thing. Don't don't advertise. Don't uh, don't use your blog to hit people over the head with the club of BMS. Buy my stuff. Buy my stuff. Buy my stuff. I'm John Salim from Superx Learning. Says the company blog may sound like a perfect place to advertise to prospective clients. However, doing that is a huge turnoff and will lead to huge bounce rates. If someone looks at the information and finds it doesn't offer anything useful, they're going to leave. Uh, instead, offer information that you consider valuable. That alone is the best advertising material for you. And again, we start to see the pattern, Angel, of um, it's got to be valuable, it's got to be valuable, it's got to be valuable. It has to be valuable. It has to be what they're searching for. I think also, you know, one thing you can take advantage of because it is your company blog is to talk about things that matter to you, um, things that matter to your company, your culture, your mission. Uh, stories, the stories about the people behind everything, the stories behind the people of how it came to be. Um, people want to get to know. They want to be a part of something bigger right. than themselves. And so what you're doing to make a difference in the community and in the, the success stories and not necessarily the testimonials of your customers, because um, sometimes I think that looks like code for, you know, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, but really the stories behind the people in that work there you know, behind the scenes kind of stuff that we get to see, we get to learn more about, about who is, who is Eric Raymer right. Right? and what is he, what matters to him and, and, and what's his story and what drives him. Those are, I think people want to know about the people behind it. They want to know Absolutely. that it's not always, it's not always perfect. They want to know a little bit about your journey 
of how how you came to be. They want to know why this cause is so important to you. And if you've taken the time to answer, we started out our first hour uh, asking your three-year question of who do I want to be three years from now? Who do I want to be? And what do I want to be known for? What do I want to be famous for? If you've got that answer and you've taken yourself or anybody in your in your team through that through that exercise to answer that, it, it just lets people know that know, you're a human being too. That's right. And I think these days we are striving striving more for human connection and relationship than ever before. Ryan Megbees uh, wraps us up with his advice. He says, stop blogging without a clear direction. Small businesses often take on uh, content marketing advice intended for enterprises and end up simply blogging because that's what was that's what they understood. I'm supposed yeah. to blog, right? right? Remember this, two and three quarters million blogs are written every day. Wow. So slow down and create quanti- quality content that provides the best value. Structure it well, design graphics, create a checklist. Moreover, invest in a proper SEO research beforehand, and you will see results, folks. You have a direction. If you don't have a direction, you want some direction, check us out. We can help with all of this and way more at youontheradio.com. That's you on the radio.com. We will return right after these messages. Angel Tussie, Eric Raymer, helping you build your brand right here on the radio. Back after this. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. 